Hey guys, Dave with Build Alpha. Uh, in this video, I want to break down the basics of RSI and do a quick test. So Fidelity says RSI, the Relative Strength Index, um, it was developed by J. Wells Wilder. It's a momentum oscillator that measures the speed and change of price movements. The RSI oscillates between 0 and 100, and traditionally the RSI is considered overbought when above 70 and oversold when below 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up Build Alpha. Um, I've loaded eight popular stocks from the settings menu, and I've set position sizing to $2,000 uh, per trade. And I'm going to test from 2006 to 2020. I'm just going to type in RSI. Um, and then you can see I have RSI crosses above. I select that as an entrance uh, entry above 70. And when RSI crosses below um, 30. So I'm basically testing the opposite. So when they say it's over, overbought and it should indicate a reversal, I actually wanna buy. Um, and when they say it's oversold and indicates a reversal going back up, that's what I'm actually gonna sell. Um, and if I run this, hit simulate, see how quickly Build Alpha returns the results. I just look for the entry with crosses above and the exit with crosses below. Then I can double click and okay, so um, is Fidelity telling the truth uh, or what? So. Um, this strategy, doing the opposite of what um, they're teaching or uh, professing is, you know, did quite well uh, historically on these stocks. So again, you can click this basket to view how the stocks do individually, um, or I can expand this to view their individual results. So you can see Apple um, and NVIDIA did quite well, whereas JP Morgan um, did not. So again, um, if that's something you're trading or investing in, it's important to know um, how your stock or ass, whatever assets it is you're trading um, or, or investing in respond to these uh, indicators and market um, you know, technicals. So a few takeaways. Um, overbought is not a bad thing. In fact, buying these stocks when they were overbought was actually a good thing. Um, Fidelity and Old Wall Street gives you, you know, these generic ideas and they are great to learn, um, but it's really tough to make money off of simple ideas alone you really have to dig in and see what's going on um, in today's market. So without testing, you might be wasting your time or believing some truth that may have worked 20, 30 years ago, but doesn't apply to today's market. Uh, so some final takeaways really, you know, test everything. You can optimize um, and improve these simple ideas, and then you're really gonna be on the right track. Hope that helps. Again, guys, to learn more, hop over to buildalpha.com. Uh, there's tons to dig into.